at the people there, the youth especially, who are out on the streets protesting in multiple cities, in multiple areas across the nation. Let's listen into what the defense experts have to say on this reform. The committee had recommended that we cannot and we should not have such a large strength in the army because the expenditure on pension, pay, perks, accommodation is too much. And therefore, in the concept of the national defense, it is better to have slim, trim, and agile army. And based on that, the number of soldiers or number of personnels who are in the army, our armed forces, Army and Navy Air Force, should be reduced mostly they are in the army. Because Navy and Air Force are technological oriented people, and because their strength is much less. And from there, this was the concept given in that committee report. The Agnipath name was not there at all. Agnivir name was not there. But we had certainly mentioned that there is a need for it. Probably, based on that concept, it must have taken time for the government to decide. And now, they have gone in formally by announcing the Agnipath and Agnivir concept, in which the soldiers who are coming first time in the armed forces, they will come for a period of four years. They will tra be trained as normal course was happening for others and for them also. Be after the training, they will be sent to different units. Somebody may be sent to Maratha regiment, somebody may be sent to uh, Rajput regiment, depending on which area they are coming from and what has been their choice. They will serve there for four years. And after four years, based on the performance of these people, for a period of four years, they will be selected for further extension in the army. So 25% will be retained. For example, as if you appear for examination, somebody will come number one, number two, number three, number three. And you will say, all right, we will take only up to number 25. Below that, we will not take. It happens in the colleges also. Similarly, the concept will be the same. Up to 25% will be retained, and remaining 75% will be sent out. The who is not happy? Because those people who wanted to join the army, they will still come. Nobody is going to stop them for coming from recruitment. Based on their physical qualification, the based on the educational qualification, physical fitness, they will be selected. So there will be no change in the selection process. The only point is, earlier they were selected for seven years, 15 years, length of service. Now they will be selected for four years. But otherwise, there is just no change whatsoever. Even the training will be done at the same place where the training of other people was done. Even the pension, pay, and allowances, everything will be controlled from those very center where they were getting the pay earlier. And the people who are giving this false information, they are creating, uh, I will say, a mental blockade among the people. They are misinforming the people. They don't know the details. And without knowing the detail, they are expressing their opinion. They are criticizing the government. They are criticizing everybody. Well, that's the point that is being made by the defense experts, saying that without having ample information and a clear understanding of what it is all about, the reforms are being opposed and criticized, and that is why the protests are happening. We continue with those cities which are reporting violent protests even today on the other side of a short break. Stay tuned.